you sexy. Huh? You stay, stay. You snip, pip, pip. You can make a joke. Come on, take care. Pip, pip, pip. You snip. What's up? <laughs> What's this? We left a box of tissue on the table. Because mommy went shopping, didn't she? And what does Pedro do? Eh? What does Pedro do? Yep, oh, is that what it is? Hey. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're religious. <laughs> oh, you're a messy boy. I know you're a messy boy. Oh, you don't like it. Okay, fine. Okie dokes. Pedro's coming out. We are going to do some plant hole, baby pea. Eh? We, we're going to show these good folks. Mommy's lovelies. What mommy bought today. I have a Sansevieria variegata inside. But today, I just have to get it again. Come, baby pea. Come, come. No, you tell them. You show them. Eh? Come here. Come here. Look. Got your dingle bells here. Look. He's still on my shoulder. Okay. Okay, is this a Pedro show now? Not growing succulents with mummy, hey? This is supposed to be a growing succulents um, video for mummy's channel, hey? Is this a Pedro channel now? But anyway, now this Sansevieria, look. Got it from Ikea for $30. Look how big it is. Oh, look, look how tall. So it's like over half a meter tall. See? It's almost up to my hip. There you go. I think that's a good price for $30. And today's haul, which is also a vlog, this is a vlog, but then this is my succulent haul. I'm going to call it Pies from Heaven ah, because I finally got one. I got a Kalankowi. It's a long name. Rombo Pilosa. It's a Rombo Pilosa. I love that name. Rombo Pilosa. It's very strong and like rhombic. <laughs> so anyway, see? Now Pedro laughs like me. Now this one, Pies from Heaven, it was $4.50 in those tiny little thing like this called succulents. But in saying that, this one here now, look. I'm going to pull it out. Yeah, I got it from Bunnings. And this one, I only bought it because it's variegated. See that leaf there? That leaf there. So it is a form of Echeveria agavoides. As to specifically what type, I don't know. Could be anything, but then it's variegated. So I'm just saying Echeveria agavoides sp. Variegata. See, that's a good bargain. And then, oh, this one's too. They're 20 cents each. So I got one, two, three, four, five six or twenty cents each from Vinis. okay now this one i'm going to show you this one okay so this is um kalankoe not kalankoe so ionium sedifolium but i'll show you i bought one hang on i still got the budgie on my foot look so i bought one uh two months ago and i bought two as well and I was so impressed with the growth that I decided to buy two more and I'm gonna grow them under the grow light under the grow light and then this one I better take this out oh, also <laughs> I forgot cactus my gymnocalisium baldeanum they were flowering <laughs> so I could not uh, help myself well that one I'm gonna go give that to mum tomorrow the flowering one because she she doesn't have a cactus and I think she would love that and also plus it's flat the thorns so she's not gonna spike herself with that one see look at that see the baldianum I love the the way the spike is just flat on its face and look at that so I don't know how much you are I think $15 or something but and not beautiful there you go so this is IKEA and okay I wanted the one, two, three, but then I decided that I want to give that one to mum and I want to do an arrangement, so a one, two, three arrangement, but then uh, when I decided to go give that to mum, I thought I better go inside and get another one, so I 
found actually I found that one first it's got two heads so two for the price of one who can resist that so seven dollars fifty each and so this one look I paid eight ninety five for that and it's small see look look at the size see look at the size comparison and they're a slow grower so this ones I got a couple of weeks ago anyway you've seen that in three weeks ago maybe and then this one now I was gonna get one but then I saw the double head okay and then I saw this one I need another one but then this one look it's got like a little uh, lollipop head look at that see in the bottom is sort of small and then just sort of bellowed out like bellowed out and going to the top so bellow, <laughs> bellow. <laughs> just in case you don't know what I meant by bellowing out so it's it's getting a little bit of a uh, what do you call that COVID bump or something like that there you go look at that it's cute so now those three are gonna stay with me the one that's flowering is gonna go to mom tomorrow and I'm I just have to repot it and also this one it can be a succulent it's very uh, juicy. <laughs> this is uh, spinach, Okinawa, outdoor and indoor plant. There you go. All year harvest. See? Put it on salad, put it on stir fry, you can put it on your mashed potato. It's got a pine taste or a little bit of nutty taste. But anyway, I'm going to put that there. So I have to... I think the soil's pretty good. But anyway, I'll just check. I need to put that in a bigger pot. And then put it somewhere here. I have to find a spot for it. But anyway, before I forget, I'll show you the other ones. So I'm going to take this one. And then that way, you can have a peep in the garden. I've actually rearranged my caranculated one. See this poro? This poro now, it doesn't look very nice. Because it's still a baby that's only young. Probably another couple of years. And that whole leaf will be covered with you see what i see in the center that center calanculation carancul is chinese coming out now the calanculation the carunculation is getting thicker so the whole leaf eventually uh so this one now so the bump that whole leaf will just be covered with that carunculation babylon now is over here because that's hiding from the winter and now my sea dragon I put it here now uh, what are you yeah you've seen this one Bacaros <laughs> I just get so distracted I don't know why you're due for a head chop I'm supposed to take out all this ionium and put it in my garden but they're already forming rosettes look at that oh speaking of rosettes update update on the ionium remember the one I did the head chop because I want to stop it from dying well there you go I think it's still gonna die because this is flower again but I'll just see if the baby's gonna grow there's all these babies in the bottom growing pimple I call them there you go those ones the head itself is still gonna die so that's still gonna die but only this plant anyway you still got a whole heap or I still got a whole heap that I can chop chop see this ones to get baby so even this this small one here I can chop 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 that so as that one to get babies from it so that one definitely is a goner okay so you can chop it off and I'll just see at the bottom yes oh there's a baby right underneath so we'll see if how eventuate whether they actually gonna grow more flowers or more plant okay now let's go to also the other one so update on the smithy eye smithy eyes got lots of babies coming out look there you go can you see the couple of babies one and on the other side another baba and two more on top and the other one in the bottom same look at that so now this is now my ionium sedifolium that I had for about three months this is two plants it's about that size when I bought it so same size can you see the, the difference look it's very pale and anemic looking <laughs> but that same plant three months later it's gonna look like this not even three months I think it's only a couple of months so and look at that so that same thing look 
one plant, two plant. And it has a sticky feel. And then this one, yep, it's got a sticky feel. Really, really strange. But it's beautiful. Look at that beautiful plant. So look at that. So can you imagine that? So from that to that. So now this one is being grown in my 50 zone area. And look how big the afterglow is now. Huge! Look at that. Needs to be potted up. I'm a bit tricky because I'm taking you here, but I'm actually just inspecting my plant to see what the damage is. Okay, Crassula orbicularis. Because the label says so. <laughs> and look, it grows and it sort of throws off babies like that and then they will just hang. And then every single baby, that one has probably got roots. See, look, the roots. Did I break it? Yeah, I broke it off. See, that roots there, that will just grow. And if you put it in some soil, then it will grow. So let's put it with this. Uh, Sinisho, Angel's Tears out here as well. Very frost hardy. Look at that. So Angel's Tears, but the other ones is like a variegated string of pearls. Okay. So that's it. Oh, this one I forgot to show you. Ionium Grenovia. I think this is Ionium aureum. Oh, look at it. Isn't she beautiful? Beautiful. Look at those rosettes. So I'm trying to grow it here so that it will color up. It's supposed to go pink. So that, I don't like using this word stress, but that one I need to stress it out. Put it in the sun. So they're about to go to sleep now. They'll be dormant soon. And if they're dormant, if they're asleep and you put them in the sun, they get cooked. And then they color up. So it's one of those things that you see all pink and stuff. So that's how they do it. So anyway, so that's it guys. That's my vloggy thing for the day. Succulents and coffee. Yeah, actually, yeah, I should make a coffee. Because I just came back from plant shopping. See, oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. That looks so good on the screen. Even better in person. <laughs> Look at that Frank Reynolds. Oh. Hello Frankie. Look at you. I'm so, just about to pull your baby out. So look at the colors. Oh, oh, beautiful. This is my first Frank Reynolds baby. So that's a baby now and having a baby. And I'm going to show you something interesting as well. So this is just a footnote on the video. Oh, my mystery madame is having babies as well. Look at that. Oh, hello. Hello, mystery madame. Okay. My happy green is still green. Happy like me. I got my temporary Kanya corner here. So I have to move a lot of the plants away still. So, but for now, I'm just leaving them here. My little Kanya Arta. How cute are you? And Barkley Eye. And Clavata. And what are you? Elegance. And Namaquensis. Little kitten's paw. With the owl, the owl and the pussy cat kitten, huh? Get it? <laughs> anyway, <that was laughs> so these are all old Kanye's plant and even that one here. Look at that. This is my original mother of Echeveria Agavoides Frank Reynolds. And I took a baby and the baby's on the other side already. And when I took the baby out, there was actually a couple of them. So the other one's already grown and the other one is still small because it was only a tiny one. And look at that. Look how cute. You would not think that that would be the same plant, isn't it? Look at that. Ah, it's crazy. That is crazy. So I named it Frank Reynolds too because it's a different form to that one. I'm trying to look for somewhere small, even the small one. Look at that. You can see sort of the tips, sort of similar, but this one has just formed its own form. It's like, I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm going to be spiky and whatever. So, so far it's spiky and it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Absolutely catty. Look at that, those claws. I still have to inspect my garden to see what the damage of the past rain that we have. Oh, Solomon is still good. So, if you watch my vlogs, you would know, or my videos, 
you would know what I'm talking about. But oh, look, the leaves has gone funky. Oh, okay. So it's getting deformed. So something's happening. A lot of these plants, I really need to repot them because that one, look, that's just disgusting. You're a disgusting mother. You're not looking after your baby, see? You have to pull them out. So hopefully tomorrow, no rain, so I can remove those babies and repot them. Even my St. Louis, Echeveria, St. Louis over here. Look how big that is and green because it's in the shade here. And even my carny color over there and my Graptivaria purple dreams is all being covered. Oh, okay, so I really need to do something. Okay, that's it. Have a lovely beautiful day. Have a lovely beautiful night. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Decaf.